Eric Mwadet, Mwadet.com. Let's take another look at the following RSI numbers that we are always following. And it is 30.9, 38.2, and then there's 50, 61.8, and 69.1. Now, of course, you can take a look at the video description for a link that goes into explaining where all these numbers come from. But all these numbers, 30.9, 38.2, and 69.1 are variations of this number here the 61.8 they are all derivations of the same number in fact this 61.8 number comes from the golden ratio of 1.618 and you can get details also by going to the Wikipedia page on the golden ratio and you should find some information about this constant and again it is 1.618 right there so that's where all those numbers come from other than 50 which is quite frankly the average between either these two numbers the average of these two numbers is 50 and the average of these two numbers is also 50 so 50 also plays a part in understanding how stocks respond to certain levels let's take a look at one chart one chart example all data monthly and it is for moody's so let's begin with 30.90 you can see here was an attempt to move below 30.90 and the stock refused to do so this corresponds to the all-time lows in the 09 after the 09 08 bear market so that was the low right there so we get your 30.9 taken care of in this example tick let's take a look at the next level which is 38.2 we're just gonna draw a line somewhere around there which is the 38.2 thereabouts and what we see here we break below the line which is this movement in 07 we tried to recapture back above the line we were rejected which is off those highs here we change and start finding support on the 38.2 level corresponding with the lows here we try to move above it found support for the lows right there and since then the stock has been higher after finding support again at 38.2 now of course I'm rushing through this video so these are quick examples so it's oversimplification so I hope you understand that now let's take a look at the 50 level so we're just gonna draw a line here at the 50 level and we can see that the last three lows going back to the lows of 2011 came on the RSI showing uniform activity support which is the lows there uniform activity support at the RSI 50 level for the lows of 2000, early 2006 and we can see here late 2016 early 2017 we found support on the RSI 50 level for the lows right there the stock has been higher since and again here let's just show it simply put RSI 50 support with uniform action for the lows there RSI 50 with uniform action for the lows right there on a monthly closing basis RSI 50 support for those lows there on a monthly closing basis so there we go we see RSI 50 check the next level is obviously 61.8 let's just draw a line here at about 61.8 should be somewhere there and we can see that the market used this for bounce uniform activity support of the lows of late 2002 you found support here of the lows of mid 2006 which is this lows ultimately you stall on the line here which is the lows of early 2007 right there we tried to move above the line here we were rejected with uniform action gave us short term highs rejected here short term highs now we come and change and we clear that line we move above it which is this entry here which is this period we hold on the line 
which is this lows on a monthly closing basis we stayed above that line for almost two years throughout this process here it is only after we came back and broke below the line that we broke the trend we tried to move above the line here we were rejected off those highs recently we jumped above the line and we are still higher since bouncing above that line so here we see an example of how stocks respond to RSI 61.8 especially where we see support with uniform action or when we move below or above 61.8 the next example is obviously the 69.1 threshold so here we are taking a look at 69.1 and we can see that there was a period from about let's say even here to about here where the stock was higher trading above 69.1 for a couple years which corresponded with this movement there now we can see that we were rejected when trying to move above 69.1 here which is those highs there's another period if I was to simplify this where the stock was generally above 69.1 which corresponds again to this period here from about let's call it there to here and again this was about two years of price action where the stock was generally positive over a period of many months about two years why because the RSI held above 69.1 in the current market we see that Moody's is having a good show up about 8% for the month so far why because the RSI ju just this month moved above 69.1 so we see a good example of what happens when stocks either stay above 69.1 they become very strong when they get rejected when trying to move above 69.1 they tend to be close to giving major turn points so above 69.1 generally is bullish below 69.1 tends to be inviting lower prices if the stock does not reclaim the level back above 69.1 now like I said this is oversimplification but I just want to show you that the levels that we watch to try and gauge where stocks are going are very legit and you can see how we've used one chart one chart example to highlight these levels where the stock was responding either with turn points to the upside or turn points to the downside Eric Mwad with mother.com keep in mind all these are just numbers that represent the golden mean or the Fibonacci constant or the golden ratio otherwise known as 61.1 or otherwise known as Phi. And that's the symbol. Eric Moad with Mother.com as always. Good luck. Peace and blessings. 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 I am out. Mwah.